Hello, everybody, and welcome to the 300th episode of Journey to the Farlands. At least that's what I've gathered from recent episodes, if I mixed up the numbers. I, I, th I think I'm good. I think I checked over them. But uh, it should be episode 300, which is pretty cool. Entering a new 100, kind of leaving the 200. So I figured I'd do a bit of a commentary today. Not like the traditional commentary where I just chat about nonsense. I'm just going to reflect on the past 100 episodes. I'm not going to do the whole series because it's, well, it's a really long series now. So I'm just going to try and be brief with my timeline and then I'll go back to the usual stuff after that if I have any other things to add. But um, yeah, I guess this, uh, the last, or about 100 episodes ago, we were at September, around September. It's not a hundred days since I didn't do an episode a day, but yeah, it's around September 18th was when I started up the 200s with um, my 200th episode special featuring Cherry, where um, I ended up, I think I died in that episode <laughs> and I did a, a mining outpost. Oh wait, no, 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 that's not what that was. That was later on. That, that was actually the reset of the world. I had nothing at that point because my inventory was cleared and my statistics was wiped and all that stuff. So that was actually what that was. I actually did do a mining outpost then around September, the end of September. And that's what that was. Post-mortem. I was thinking Memento Mori. That was the other one. But I'll go through the episodes a little bit. Post-mortem kind of came about after... Episode 199, which is the last episode in the old world. In the old um, instance before everything got wiped from that hard drive. So we're in a new world, technically, but it's the same series and the same spirit behind it. So I don't really even make that delineation. That the, whatever before episode 200 doesn't exist in this world. I don't really um, see it that way. But... um. Yeah, oh, that's right. Two hundred and two, episode two hundred and two. I messed around with the bugs. I'm skipping two, the no commentary ones that don't really mean anything. So I'm just gonna briefly go through the last hundred or so episodes and um, reflect some um, remarks on some stuff. See our uh, graphics shredder, as I call it, which was the Optifine bug. When um, you use Optifine in beta it really changes the way you view the world. <laughs> it sounds like it's this big, profound thing. It just destroys the, how the game looks visually. I, I don't think I've used it since then. So yeah, it's been a while since I've I used the game with Optifine. So yeah, I was showing off probably the jitters and whatnot. But the jitters is another thing that's native to beta. Which is something that you don't see in this series because I've patched it out, but it does exist, nonetheless. Um, Army of the Undead, <laughs> probably a bunch of zombies. Even even thinking back on these episodes, it's kind of hard to tell what was going on or why why I named episodes a certain way. If you asked me about like any episode before a while ago. <laughs> I probably wouldn't really know unless it was a memorable episode. The Invisible Bed. Yeah, I don't I don't know what that one's all about. Usually it's, it's something that happened in the episode. So maybe I built a, a bed out of leaves or something. And the leaves decayed. I'm not sure. A creeper. <laughs> I've t no, made plenty of episodes talking about mobs. Photo bomb. Oh yeah, photo bombs. There's probably a mob trying to sneak in. I was trying to take a screenshot. Oh yeah, the forgotten episode. Episode two hundred and nine. That was one I forgot to move over from Twitch. And I was just like, oh yeah, I gotta add that. After I'd streamed the one after it. The greater of two evils. I'm not sure exactly what that was in reference to. Greater of two evils. 
maybe oh, uh, may, oh, that probably had to do with the debate at the time with um whether I should use Optifine and risk dying again due to Phantom Lava, or if I should just do it this way. Maybe something like that. Oh yeah, Java SMP, that was still a thing. 211. Jitters, return, and an outpost. Oh, I used the jitters for a while. And then Cherry begged me to disable them. <laughs> Thought they didn't last very long. Although I don't blame her. The jitters are very um, interesting, for sure. I'm doing good. How are you? I think that was an episode I did with Devon Bitter Jitter. Beginning the Citadel. Oh yeah, the Citadel was episode 214. Secret commentary. <laughs> yeah. I think I'm at around 370 actual videos in the playlist because there's like p different parts to certain episodes and there's like these mega sodes and all sorts of things. But it's a it, in terms of like the clean episode, not like the you know the episode counter we're at 300. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. And every three on every hundred episodes, I do some kind of um, special, like the hundred episode special. I just kind of showed some screenshots from the war from earlier and talked about the first little bit first hundred episodes i guess and then um this 200 episode mark i had a i chatted with a long time viewer cherry and then same thing for 250 and then 300 here i'm just talking about some of my episodes over the past hundred that's pretty cool that i managed to make it this far anyway it always it always does remind me whenever i reach a milestone or an episode count or whatever milestone. I um realize just how long I've been doing this, and it it's been fun. I'm not gonna say it was a a bad thing, but it it was quite. It's been quite a bit of fun. I I probably would have quit the series if had it not been you know, epic. Of course, every day you're getting closer. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Don't know if I'll. <laughs> I did break a new hundred thousand the other day, I guess. Yeah, the seventh. Well, it wouldn't be the other day. Actually, it's more like a week ago now. It is epic. Mm -hmm. Oh, and my my most popular journey to the farlands episode. <laughs> Literally just mining. A no commentary mining episode at the Citadel outpost. Wow, that was. An iconic episode, 1,400 views on a mining episode, the diamond strike. Oh, that went on for so long. I got diamonds again, but there was a period where I just used iron out of spite, out of losing diamonds. Something over nothing. That's right. I mean, that episode, that episode does say a lot about the series itself. I praise something over nothing. And the fact that you're going to the unknown, just going towards it on and on, that's just epic. Yeah. Always going into, always breaking new ground in this world. I guess I just get used to it, but it is a pretty crazy series in and of itself. Are you reading the chat from another app? Is it YouTube? Uh, no, no, I'm just um, reading my episode names over the last hundred episodes. Just remarking on some of my neat episodes that I did over the past while, since September, I guess, because that's when episode 200 was. Midst of the Mist was episode 225. That was a fun one. Use the use shorten the fog because you can actually shorten the fog in beta. 
and I had a texture pack, which I think I still have in here. I might use it again next Halloween. Um, oh yeah, mushrooms are plenty. It was probably just a bunch of mushroom hunting. Broken record. Uh, I can only tell what that one was. I refer to myself as broken record qu quite often. I mean, 300 episodes, you tend to repeat yourself once or twice. Oh, yeah, my birthday stream, too, because I did a birthday stream in 2022 and 2023. I'll do one again this year, I'm sure, around my birthday again. Stuff, oh, yes, my, my best title, episode 244. Just stuff. The 117th episode. That's what it feels like today. The 117th episode. And then I did the umpteenth episode as well, which is another <laughs> another similar way. When is your birthday? November 29th. So I just did it in November of last year. And it's just it just gets a fun name every time I do it. And I, I don't really talk about it. I only reference my birthday like once in the episode, and then I just do the normal thing after that. <laughs> There's no like actual celebration or anything. I saved the celebration in this world for the for every year milestone, which I've only done one so far. Farland anniversary as I call it. Basically like um uh, Kurt J. Max, Flobathon, except not quite as. Well, I, I I try to do like a few weeks or make it a few weeks long. So that's already like 14 videos that aren't actual episodes that I tr just treat like episodes. I did 14 parts to Farland anniversary last year, and I'll probably do even more this year. Make it even crazier, and maybe even do another outpost. We'll see see how the how things line up because let's see how far i make it because i've well i guess it was january the end of january was the last time i got stuff in this world so we might make it till june before i actually have to stop may even be may or june maybe even longer than that i'm not even sure well this already makes you a legend <laughs> Yeah, th thank you. Uh, let me check my, keep going with my list. Excitement in store, that's for sure. Stunley McNunley, a very odd episode name that I just came up. I just, I just say random things sometimes when I'm just, I probably was tired. The late night delirium, as me and Cherry call it. It was probably just something along those lines. Walk Craft was episode 250, of course. New Craft Returns. Uh, that was a fun one to just discuss New Craft returning. Million a month. Oh, that aged badly. I'm not walking a million a month anymore. Well, not that I did before. I don't know if I've ever walked a million a month. I've walked half a million, 700,000 a month. But yeah, I uh, had to cut back a bit. Triple header. <laughs> Three spawners in one episode. I, I think I found more in um, one episode. Oh, yeah, Stuart died in the last episode. Or was it the one before? No, it was the one before. It, it was very unfortunate. I actually I was I was actually pretty distraught in that episode. I was I was a bit taken aback. I had to do another another funeral. I did one for the original steward and I did one for the new one. And the sad well the thing that really made me sad was I encountered a, a new type of bug that I hadn't seen before. Apparently it's an actual beta bug. And Stuart actually cloned, and there was a duplicate of Stuart the second, and he died too. They they fell off a cliff. 
both of them. And it was just, it was, it was terrible seeing them both fall. I, I was helpless to the situation. I couldn't do anything. I, I was just so, um, I think I went way like so long without having a pet, a pet wolf that I just didn't really realize that going off a cliff with the water bucket, like I just had done that. That was just usually what I do. That was, um, just my way of doing things like to speed up time. But I kind of forgot that the dogs were kind of dumb. <laughs> And they'd kind of just jumped off the edge, both of them. And they, well, I was like, "Oh, they can, they'll swim down." And no, they didn't. They fell out of the waterfall and uh, and splatted on the ground. And I built their graves at the base of the cliff. And uh, the the duplicate, I just called clone of Stuart too because I didn't name him yet. Could have been a lot. Of, I was really excited about bringing a dog to the far lands with me but of course i have to and and also that, ep that i think it was that same episode that i had started um, making steak like i started cooking the pork chops so i could feed them more because they had the same health and they both were pretty low on health at the beginning of the episode so i was like oh i need to feed them lots of pork well now you're going faster at least yeah it's true i do i do travel a bit quicker without worrying about the dogs it's just unfortunate, I guess, but it is what it is. That, that's all I'll say. I did my monologue in that episode when they died, so that yeah. <laughs> I won't don't really need to worry about that. The boring million. Oh, that's right. Four four to five million. That was quite a gap. It was still probably the longest or one of the longest millions. I don't even know anymore. They're also they're also long now. Each million. This one's been going by pretty quickly. Because I just surpassed 5 million. Well, when was that? Jan uh, January? Yeah, the end of January. It's not quite what I was hoping I'd be doing. Like I'm, I kind of hoped I would be like more like a million plus blocks from that point now. Like 6 point something million now. Like closer to 50%. But we'll uh, cross that bridge. You know, we'll cross the 50% mark when we get there. I'm not really going to rush the series. That was kind of the plan initially was to accelerate things, but yeah, it's... It... we'll get there when we get there. Yeah, it was um, episode 298, I think. It has the two graves in the thumbnail. I, I did just a short commentary because like, it was meant to be a no commentary episode, so there's only a short commentary after their death where I kind of commemorate them and kind of talk about things a bit. Yeah, I don't remember exactly when in the episode it is. But that, that was their departure, their untimely departure from the journey. Budget cuts. Oh yeah, that's when I started to cut back on things. A triple header, three spawners, one episode. Yeah, I think I've definitely found more spawners in one episode than three. But that's pretty cool nonetheless. I think my first episode of Journey, I actually found two spawners in that episode, which was pretty cool. I think that was the first time I'd found two in like, well, I guess two in one episode because that was my first actual episode of the series. I had played on the world for like two months before that, but... I only started streaming it two months in. But it's better than not having streamed it at all. And you guys never would have seen any of this. And I think the world would have continued, but it just wouldn't have any presence on the internet or anything. Well, or YouTube, I guess. YouTube, a.k.a. the internet. <laughs> Poor shovel. I remember that my shovel was my one of my last shovels was hanging on by a thread and it just it was like close to it was on the brink of collapse for like multiple episodes it was hilarious hidey hole from hell oh yeah that was when I found like a two block or one by two entrance to a cave and a creeper walked out of it and tried to explode I had to ruin my day 
Oh, my head in the clouds. Uh, that's that one's just a pun, a play on me having my bed up in the mountains with with a cloud really going through through my bed. Blink and you'll miss it. Well, I don't I don't know if it's a blink and you'll miss it case for Journey to the Farlands overall, but. Maybe it was like a specific point in the episode. Or was that, oh gosh, hanging in there. That's right. I'm always hanging in there. I'm hanging on to this world <laughs> as far as I can get with it. Old habits die hard. That, I mean, I guess that applies to the dogs as well. Old habits do die hard in this world. But the Farlanders West. Because I think the sun doesn't set in the right direction or something like if you're actually basing it off the coordinates, this I'm not actually going, this isn't actually West, I don't think. In, at least in beta. Later versions, I think it's corrected, but I call it Farlanders West since I don't think it's at the actual West. Because I'm sure some technical Minecraft player is going to go the actual west, and then they're actually they're going the Farlanders south. <laughs> it's a Farlanders compass, definitely not to confuse people. Hey, just go wherever the sun sets. That's all I all I learned. I don't know why it's always west, but Kurt went west, T T and Foil Chef went west. I don't know um where Fig or Kill Crazy Man went. Does beta 1.7.3 have desert temples? No, it doesn't. No, they were added, I think, in between beta 1.8 and uh, release. Because I, I think they're added for release. Or, or one of the... No, I don't know if it was the versions after one of the versions. I think it was in that time frame, though. Around there, if not earlier release versions. Because this was mid to late 2011. Beta 1.7.3. I wasn't actually around for that time, so I don't remember it off or remember it by heart, but I know it was around 2011 because that's when Kurt started Far Lands or Bust, which was like the first ad huge adventure to the Far Lands, which is still going to this day. Pretty cool. But yeah, it was around 20, uh, 2011 because that's when, or November 2011 is when uh, release 1.0 came out. Have you thought about doing a, a mega time lapse of the journey? Uh, I've seen people do it. It's not impossible, but I don't have I don't have like the footage or anything. I'd have to like record like the screen while I walk and I'd have to speed it up. It, it'd probably be too much work for me to do. But I've seen other people do it pretty nicely, but I, I just don't know if I'd do it. Just because I haven't like recorded the, the series, I'd stream it. I'd have to, it'd be a weird, it'd be quite a bit of an editing nightmare. Oh. Come on, you bugger. Uh. There we go. I figured I'd kind of come up with my own way of doing things. If I, I, I'd figure out my own kind of way of do, like something I could do, because I'm not super savvy that way in terms of editing and stuff. So maybe by the time I get to the far ones, I can come up with something cool to do like that. But I'm not sure entirely. What I'm gonna do? I know I'm gonna do obli the uh, the Oblivion base, which is where I've been walking to the whole time. Even though episode one being called "Walking to Oblivion" wasn't really based on me having any base called Oblivion, that was kind of the later thing I developed. That was like, oh yeah, that that lines up nicely with the Farlands base being called Oblivion. But I kind of just. In, at the beginning, I was kind of just like, oh, you know, he's just walking arbitrarily to nothing, endlessly. That's kind of what I was more aiming the first episode's name towards. 
I, I definitely want to do a Farland anniversary episode where I just go through like every episode up to that point. Or maybe even when I reach the Farlands, I could do that. Um, I don't even know where a chest is. Yeah, I definitely want to build a large base at the Farlands. I don't know if that's been done. I think because a lot of people just kind of go the far lines and that's it. But I, I might try and do something cool. I know um, Devin suggested I build a mural at the far lines, which could be cool. I'm not very gifted in like pixel art, but I could um, run some kind of program or something, or you know, find a way to like attack, like set blocks to like certain pixel like colors of pixels so i could actually like do like a pixel art or something at the far lens like along them somewhere probably not actually at the base maybe a little bit off just just because i don't want to take away from the far lens but how many episodes do you think the series will have well we started the series uh episode one was at around 1.5 million i think if I look at the actual, I think I roughly guessed on how, oh, on where I'd be for the first 13 or so episodes because that was kind of when I did no commentary. Like I didn't do no commentary back then, so I just walked off camera instead of just only streaming everything for the world. So it's a bit, it's a bit of a rough guess, but uh, where was I at episode one of this series? Do do do. Walking to Oblivion, yes, that's the one. I just figured I'd, yeah, 1,066,000 was around where I was in episode one. And so we're at about 5.5 million, I give or take, around 300. So that's, what, how much of an increase? One to 5.5, that's four, about 4.5 million. Another 4.5 million from now, about another 300 episodes from now. If I kept at this pace, we'd be around 9 or 10 million. So, maybe 7, episode 700. So between 7 and 800. If I kept at this pace, if I didn't speed up at all. Which I might still speed up a bit. I, oh, I want to do a long episode today, but I, I don't know if this one will get me, may make much of a dent in that. <laughs> I still have a long way to go because the last year has been pretty um pretty tumultuous for the series or at least you know, it's been busy not like you know it's just been that kind of time school took over quite a bit and now that i'm out of school i've been wanting to do other stuff apart from journey and i'm working too so i haven't been i didn't quite pan out my you know crazy plans of walking you know uh, around around 30, 35k per episode. So it'd be around 700 to 800 episodes, I think. So, I mean, I mean, ballpark estimate, if I don't really make any major changes to my pacing, will be there probably in two years. Although, I'm sure school in the fall will change the pacing quite a bit. So it might be further than two years, who knows. I don't really know. I think that, well, I, I do have the summer. Like, the summer's going to be, like, my... I usually treat the summer as, like, the big push anyway. Like, last summer, I walked, I think, 1.2 million over the over last summer. So, I'll try and um, keep things going. I wasn't even that consistent last summer either. So, if I actually did, did the summer pacing consistently, I could actually get somewhere. Maybe not to the far lens, but maybe close. And then it's not as far I have to go when I get busy. Because I did my first, well, last summer I did my first 10, uh, around 10 to 12 hour stream. Although in terms of actual walking, I think it was more like nine hours because I took a few hour, like multi, like I took like an hour break a few times. Especially for the longer episodes like that. I'd kind of start streaming it kind of when I woke up. And then then by the time the evening rolled around, I'd end the episode. 
I did that, I think, twice. I don't think I've done many episodes like that. I don't think I'll do many of them from here. Unless I really feel like it. Has the game ever crashed? No. It's been pretty good. Although I've always run... you know, it's n I never run it off default beta. I'm sure it would crash a lot more if I just ran it off regular old beta. And the game does crash if I reach the maximum memory allocation. But I usually restart the game when that happens. It's usually every... Every three hours, I have to do it. Every three, three, four hours, that's when my memory takes. Because you know, walking all these chunks, the, the the game stores them temporarily, but um, it kind of builds a bit of a backlog over that time. So you do have to restart the game occasionally, every few hours. But it used to be a bit more often before I upgraded my RAM. But now that I've got lots of RAM allocated, it yeah, it's that's no issue. Yeah, if you did reach 100% RAM usage, I think the game would crash. And I don't know if you'd lose progress or not. I haven't had that happen because I've been pretty on top of that. But yeah, I always run like a patched beta. Like this one is, I think, the same or at least a similar pack to the one I used for the original world of Journey before the, the reset. So I think it's relatively similar. It's just got a bunch of like fixes and things. Nothing... Um, super crazy not not like actual gameplay affecting changes but it just makes it so that the game doesn't crash sometimes because beta is weird it's it's still pretty you know pretty old and not you know it's not fully hashed out <laughs> i mean i guess you could expect that with a development version of minecraft rather than an actual release but no, i don't think it has crashed Trying to, oh it, no, it actually did it. I it might have actually. I no, I think I lost. I think about forty thousand blocks of progress at one, at one point. That was really early on in the series. It took me a while to recollect that, but yeah, no, I think that no, I think the world did crash at one point. It was, I think it was just me messing around with Optifine stuff. How far, far were you in the old world? Oh, I I was, well. I was, where would I have been? Episode 199. Season one, let me see. Where's this? Oh, I gotta go quite a bit. Good question. 170. Um, three hundred subs and tree abomination. Four point three million blocks. So yeah, that was about a million blocks ago that I lost the world, the original world. And and honestly, at that point, I really didn't feel like doing a hard reset. I had actually considered well. There was like a good few days where I didn't have the world because the hard drive got wiped. And I was just really bummed about it. And I was like, well, do I reset that 4.3 million blocks of progress and just go to the standard Farlands or something? And I was considering that. And then I kind of was just like, you know, what? if I, you know, I, I've spent so much time invested in this world. And I just, you know, made, made the made a world with the same seed and I just teleported back which I'm sure to a lot I'm sure maybe to you or to a lot of people it might sound like cheating teleporting yourself like that but I mean to me like whenever I teleport myself like if I like lose stuff like I mean I try to back it up but it's a big world well not anymore I guess I could back it up now it's only like 14 gigabytes but back then it was like 50 gigabytes and I couldn't really back it up I, I did have like the, the, the space for it, but it just took a long time to back up. So I just was like, I've, you know, I've walked that distance already. Like, it's not like I'm adding any extra blocks or anything. Like I'm going right to where I left off kind of thing. Like there's not really as, as much as people be like, oh, you know, you're in a different world now. It's not the same, you know, you're, you're, you're cheating. You're, 
But in all fairness, it's my world. It's my series, and I can do this stuff as I please. And I'm not, I'm not going for a, a, a legitimate run, even though it technically is still legitimate, I guess. But I don't really care about the legitimacy and things. I'm just trying to have fun in my own world here. And I, I really didn't want to restart at that point because I, you know, I, I was already trying to get to the Far Lands relatively soon, and. If I lost 4.3 million blocks of progress, then, you know, that would have really set me back. And I don't know if I would have... I might might have lost motivation, actually, I'm sure. Might not be be in the same position I am now had, that, had I not made that decision. So I think it helped me in the end. And the se the whole season two thing was kind of a joke anyway. I I didn't I just kind of jokingly called it season two. I'm sure people people look at it and be like, oh yeah, he must have died in like an old world and got sent back to spawn. And people are always like, oh, I hope you don't get sent back to spawn. But the reality is, I've been sent back to spawn multiple times in this world. You know, this world has um tested me a lot in a lot of different ways, either through death or you know actually losing the the world, which only happened once, I guess. Yeah. It happened a few times actually, because one time when the world when I mentioned the world getting corrupted, or not corrupted, but when I mentioned um, oh what was it? Oh, the phone started ringing and I, I've lost my train of thought. But it was around that time when I lost. Well, I quote unquote lost the world. I got tell I I went back to spawn. I didn't die or anything like optifine crashed my game i i don't know if I, that might have not actually been in the series i don't i don't think i was streaming at that point but i was just walking and i was testing out some mods and stuff and like a like an idiot i didn't back up the world i i luckily did have a backup from about forty thousand blocks before that so it wasn't too bad of a loss you know but yeah, that was like <laughs> that was the forty thousand block loss I remember that. So even in the original world, there were some weird gaps and things where I had to rework things. So yeah, it's definitely, the world's definitely tested me and I've seen a lot of different sides of beta for sure. I'm sure if I was using an unpatched game, it would be a lot more unpredictable. I'd probably actually be more inclined to back it up, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm just bad at, I notice I'm just bad at like, like backing things up. I gotta like force myself to. I might even do that, start doing that with Journey. That's probably not a bad idea in case I lose the world. Then I have something to fall back on. Cause then that way I don't have to make a new world and teleport. I could just go back to that world kind of thing. And I may, I may have lost progress, but yeah, I'll do, maybe I'll do it like once a week or once every two weeks or something. I guess backing backing up is a pretty pretty good way of doing things. I've been doing it for the SMP anyway. I've been backing that world up occasionally. I think I just backed it up the other day. I've been on top of that, so I guess I could do it for Journey. I guess, if I don't want to lose this world again. <laughs> okay, I'll go back to my episodes. I'm almost, I'm just about, just over halfway through them. Aquatic protrusions, that weird chunk in the... Uh, Ice Ocean, I remember that. Just some weird stuff between a bed and a hard place. <laughs> when I placed my bed in between a bunch of trees and hills and things. Oh yeah, Memento Mori was the one I was remembering. That was the one where I died. I died in that episode, and I had to get my stuff, get stuff back. Why is two hundred? I thought I already looked at the boring million. I guess I must have skipped over a bunch of those. Oh, Farland debt. Yeah, that system didn't last very long. 
Oh, there's my trip and my return from my trip in February. I've definitely been um, a lot more consistent with episodes recently, so that's been good. A little creeper. Oh yeah, when I saw a bunch of creepers. That happens pretty often, though. Creepers are a commonality in this world, that's for sure. Oh yeah, and the 292 is when I got my dog. Paul Stewart. And yeah, it was just... Wait, did I not add 299 to the playlist? Oh, I didn't. I gotta do that. Right now. Juvenalian sheep. Yeah, those sheep tried to push me off the cliff. Well, you see, they were successful. They were rather successful in that endeavor, I should say. Have you ever felt a presence in your world? We mean presence. Like, what kind of presence are you talking? Oh, like here, Brian? Or you mean like a spiritual presence? The fog is com is coming in here. <laughs> Just setting in midst of the mist. Oh, let me sure some sheep. Like feeling watched, or like yeah, spiritual presence. I'm not sure. Oh, I see. As I see the floating cross over there. <laughs> Uh, no, I, I, I don't think I, no, I don't really sense much of anything. I kind of joke about here Brian being in my world, although I've never actually had any tangible proof of seeing him. I, you know, I kind of did like the midst of the mist where I kind of just made fun of the here Brian thing where all the mobs had like the white eyes and bloody bloodshot eyes. Some of them, like the chickens had bloodshot eyes and stuff. Because they are, they're already white, so I guess they just gave them red eyes. And I've like been like, oh, here, Brian, you know, whenever I see like, stuff on fire and like trees missing their tops and stuff, but or, like the weird tunnels. But I, yeah, I don't think here, Brian exists in my world. <laughs> I think that I think that is truly myth. Some uh, some people have um, I've or I've I've kind of pointed out a long time ago that. You know, maybe I'm not going to the far ones. Maybe I'm running to running from something. But that's that's the joke anyway. But yeah, no spiritual presence or anything. I don't feel like I'm being watched. <laughs> it just I just feel alone in this in the in the journey. I guess is the most thing because old Minecraft just is very isolating compared to modern Minecraft where there's like all the mobs and all that and all the structures and everything. When in beta, there's like this is it, you know. Millions and millions of blocks of this, and that's what I've seen for the you know for the past 300 episodes.
I guess it was a bit different too before I before I started streaming the series when it was just me on my own doing this world. Where I was just I I still took the occasional screenshots and whatnot. But I just I never oh look at this little little unfinished hidey hole there. <laughs> but oh is it almost nighttime actually? Can't see the sun. Oh it is almost nighttime. Ah, perfect. Let's settle in here. It's like it was meant to happen. Fate as fate would have it. <laughs> yeah, let me see here. Yeah, I originally didn't really think anyone would be interested in a journey like this. I kind of wanted to just do it as my own thing. So I had, you know, I was doing new, my like new craft SMP and stuff at the time, and I was just like. No one's going to want to watch someone walk endlessly to the far lands. And I, I think it's just been kind of nice just to have this anyway, just as like a world I can just play around in a bit. I got a lot of random blocks. But, and I think it's grown a bit of a presence. You know, I'm not, I didn't definitely didn't expect it to be quite as it, you know, my channel to be quite as it is. Right, as it is around this point. So that's definitely cool. Yeah. There we go. That I get like almost daily comments on the YouTube channel and you know, I, I people actually watch the series and stuff. So that that definitely proved me wrong a little bit that way. <laughs> oh I got a wrap around. But yeah, that, that's definitely kind of where I was. And then when I started the series, I was like, oh, people would only want to watch me. Uh, they want to watch episodes where I talk. And I was also proven wrong when I started to, well, when Fig reached or like, commented and suggested doing a complete archive around at my episode 13 mark. And I started doing no commentaries after that, where I streamed every second of the world pretty much as much as I could, with, of course, like power outages and weird. Weird stuff aside. Eh. Yeah, and it was around that point. I um Yeah, I started doing the no commentary. And then I realized that the series actually did get some reach, even the stuff where I wasn't watching. And of course there were people that were like, oh, you know, disliking the no commentary episodes. And um wanted episodes where I talked and I'm sure that kind of thing only commentary but I do have a commentary only playlist and it's like a hundred episodes in there now of commentary so hopefully that's enough to silence the people who are like ah, make more commentary and I guess today's episode is also a commentary as well been doing a lot of them lately although I've just felt like chatting and chatting and stuff and of course episode 300 i couldn't really i couldn't leave this as a no commentary episode just couldn't bring myself for another hundred episode special Right, we keep going up. Use my trusty bucket. I actually found you on YouTube. I was watching a few videos about the far ones and then one of your videos was recommended. Yeah, I, that's what I noticed too, even just like like just looking stuff up on YouTube, like when you look up like Farlands, there's not a whole lot that comes up because there's only so many people who do the journey or have like done the journey. And I, I mean, this journey actually came to be through inspiration of another YouTuber doing a journey. So, you know, the cycle continues, but yeah, there's definitely a few people who've, I mean, a lot of people who find the channel through, the, through those means. Which I'm not going to complain about. I think that's a pretty solid way to find me because 
that stuff I, i'm sure i've seen a lot of that those videos <laughs> before i started the journey even too but i like like a few day like a day or two before i started this world when i was watching a bunch of videos being like oh the farlands are actually kind of cool and all this stuff i kind of always knew there was something pretty neat but to find out more of the technical stuff behind it was really neat so I was always just like, oh, you know, they were so I, I don't even know really fully what I knew about the Farlands before all like the journey to the Farlands stuff with TFC and all that stuff. I I'm just trying to remember like where I was. Don't think I even really knew fully what the Farlands were. I just knew what they looked like vaguely. And I clearly knew that they were like the end of the world at some stage of the game because I remember when I first kind of saw Tenfoil Chef's Journey series, I was kind of like, oh, you know, he's he's um, going to the Farlands. I'm like, I was like, oh, well, wow, that that sounds kind of crazy to do. Like, who'd want, who'd go to the Farlands? It's 12.5 million blocks. Like the like the um, the amount of episodes it would take. And you know, he he did like 180, and he was like a million or so blocks in. Although he did it a little bit slower. Of course, he did um 20 minute episodes, 20 30 minutes, where I do like hours and multi hour episodes. So it's a bit of a different pacing. And even me compared to like Kill Crazy Man, who made it to the Farlands in like nine months, because he did 35k per day, which is kind of what I set for this year. But of course, that kind of fell through, as I very quickly realized that I didn't only want to just do journey all the time. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, that'd be, that's crazy. Having got going to the far end, that just seems like you're walking to oblivion. Like there's, there's no point to it. And then later on, I, around the time TFC actually passed away, I kind of was like, oh, you know, there's people who have actually done the journey after I kind of looked into it, after hearing about him passing. And I was like, oh, so people have actually made it to the Farlands before. Like, kill Crazy Man and Fig. Fig was the first person to make it to the corner of Farlands, so that's pretty cool. I've re I've uh, talked with Fig before, and I've talked with Kello as well, or Kilo, Kilo Crazy Man. I don't, I don't know how to say his name. Kello or Kilo? I don't know. Because the, the Canadian in me, or I guess the... the the metric in me wants to say kilo, like kilo, or I guess kilo, kilogram. It could be kilo as well, like the other way of saying kilo. But yeah, I was like, oh yeah, people have actually done it before. And then I, that's kind of why I actually started to get motivated into doing it myself. I was like, you know, it'd be cool to do a, a bit of a tribute to Tinfoil Chef, even if I didn't watch his series. Although... Since then, I actually have watched his episode, and I've watched, I think, well over 50 of his epi of episodes of it already. I'm probably going to be watching even more, but you have to go. It's nice chatting with you, anyway. I'll see you again, or see you later. Yeah, thanks for the, the congrats on 300. Definitely a little bit crazy that I've made it this far, for sure. Like I said, every time I reach a new milestone, it just makes me realize just how crazy I am in doing this, but how cool it is as well. Good night. I forgot the time zone difference. <laughs> it's probably very late for you. <laughs> Not used to having viewers from different parts or other parts of the world like that. I guess. Probably because for them, they're probably sleeping <laughs> when I'm streaming. At least on the live end of things. I guess there's YouTube. Yeah. 
Oh, yeah, have a drink. I guess this is the first, uh, I guess, uh, special that I've done without Cherry, I guess since um, before episode 200, or I guess before that episode of Far Anniversary where I was building the outpost while talking to Cherry. I think there's like three episodes now that I've talked with her. Probably a few that I've talked with Devin too, had Devin as a, as a, as a guest on the, on this lovely journey. But I think what's nice about having like them join the the chatting is that it can help spread things out a bit like spread out the commentary and stuff <laughs> because you know it becomes a bit taxing when i'm like oh yeah i got a long episode ahead and it definitely helps just being able to have a casual discussion i think that'll help as i do some of the longer episodes like the closer to the farlands ones where i got more ambitious with things and all that jazz But yeah, oh, well, yesterday's episode was pretty short. <laughs> and the thing is, I actually did have yesterday off. So I could have actually done like a full on marathon, but I was doing, oh, what was I even doing yesterday? Well, I did some universe sim because yesterday was universe sim. So I just played a bunch of the universe sim. Well, actually, no, I played yeah, some universe sim and I played the Sims 4. And I edited, or I finished editing Newcraft episode seven. I think that was episode seven because I've I filmed episode eight last night, so that one should be coming out on Tuesday. And the episode seven, I think, just came out a few hours ago. I'll have to see how viewership's going for it. But did it not upload? March fourteenth. Wait, no, oh yeah, tomorrow's Thursday. So it'll be tomorrow. Should come out tomorrow. I thought I don't know why I thought it was coming out today, but no, it'll be tomorrow. And then Monday. I think Mondays and Thursdays is new craft. If I do have two episodes to upload that week. So I I think Monday will be the default. And then if I have an extra one, I'll upload it another day. Okay, I gotta play some sand. And another game I've been getting into is Oxygen Not Included, which is one I played many years ago when it first came out, like what, five years ago now. Like It's wild to believe that the game's that old. I think it was around 2019 or whatever, maybe even earlier than that. Oh, it might have even been earlier than 2019, actually. Whenever the game came out, I uh, remember playing it. Me and Devin would um, challenge ourselves to see who could survive the longest. And I've... um gotten back into that game for my weekly um, schedule, my routine that I'm doing of um, doing a different thing every day or at least trying to. I guess I could discuss that schedule a little bit. Oh, I mean, like, start me on, which means I probably shouldn't do the commentary for much longer. But I did um, I th yeah, I did make a schedule though. So, yeah, today was Oxygen, so I was playing Oxygen Not Included today. I might play it a bit more after the stream today. That was, that's been a bit of fun. I've been watching some tutorials and walkthroughs and things because I, I just kind of want to get good at that game. And it's a difficult game to learn through trial and error. So I'm going to take some tips from the YouTubes. I think I might do that for quite a few of my games. I usually don't like to do that. But I also haven't touched these games in years. And I don't think I'll ever get back to them if I just leave it to my devices. Kind of leave it, you know, leave it to my own devices in terms of like figuring it out. Because as much as I want to, it's it's one of those games that's just tricky to figure out. It's an easy easy game to mess around with and play, but it's a very complex game. Like as you progress through it, and even in the beginning, I guess after the first little bit. But um, I have I played that today, and then yesterday was Sims. Well, I was originally gonna play my PlayStation yesterday, and I didn't really feel like it. I think I'm gonna, just gonna take a break from playing my PlayStation for a bit. 
I was playing Sims. I started a new legacy in The Sims. So that's kind of cool. I, I I was doing the random legacy, so that'd be fun to return to next week. And I do like the idea of having a bit of a variety because for the last few weeks, I've just been playing like some stuff nonstop apart from um, Journey. Like the universe sim was what it was. I'd just be playing it like crazy. And then I was getting into the modded Minecraft. And then I was like, oh, there's all these games I want to play. But I don't really have the time to play them. So I made a schedule. So I do a different thing every day. I think tomorrow and Friday are better Minecraft. So I get to put like five hours into that tomorrow and Friday. Like tomorrow night or whatever, or the morning. Maybe in the morning I might even play it. If I don't stay up super late. Better Minecraft. And then Saturdays are um, probably going to be set for Better Beta. Which is my series I've been doing with Devin. So that'll actually be coming out on the channel on Saturday. Unless I have to edit it, of course. But yeah, hopefully that'll be releasing on Saturdays or whenever me and Devin get around to it. I might just auto upload them on Saturday, though. I kind of like the idea of scheduling things. Although Journey is still just going to be whenever I upload it. You know, it's not going to be. It uploads so frequently that you don't even need a schedule for it. It's just just know that it'll probably upload every day. And if it doesn't upload every day, then it's just because I got other stuff I need to do. Yeah, Saturday is better, or, uh, better beta. And then Sunday is Greg Tech, which is uh, the, the mod pack. I've been, the other mod pack I've been playing. That's a lot of fun. I'm hoping to get somewhere in that. I don't know if I'll actually be able to make like the star deck or whatever it's called at the end. You know, like the thing that takes 6,000 hours to get to. So I don't know if I'll get to that point, but I'll just see how far I can get before getting bored, I guess. And I might make that into a series if um, I really get into it. That might be a fun one to do. But it'd probably be a long form one, like better beta. I don't think I'll edit it. Because new crafts, I think, enough editing for me. <laughs> for now. See, I got Greg Tech. I could definitely make into a series if I wanted to. I mean, I might even just do something new. Never know. But I'm, I'm kind of chock full for stuff right now anyway. I just uploaded, you know, um, Better Beta Episode 1. So we'll see how that goes. And how new craft goes hoping it starts to get some viewership because I put a good deal of effort into that series. So it would be neat to get some some of you guys reaching out and stuff about it. But I'm not too fussed about it either way. Just be nice kind of thing. And then Monday is the Universe Sim. So I'm only doing the Universe Sim once a week. And I'm only doing each of these once a week, apart from better Minecraft, which is twice a week. Although I might change it if I feel like something, if I feel like doing something else for that day. You know, if I feel like doing one of the other things, if I want to play, I might even make it into a wild card day. Fridays, you know, for wild card. So I can stay up late or whatever, playing some random thing. But yeah, that's fun. I, I'm liking the schedule thing. This is like my first week of doing it and I'm, I'm uh, enjoying it. I think it's a good system because it means I'm not just, you know, oversaturating everything I do with like one thing like Universe Sim. Because that's what I was oversaturating it with Universe Sim for a long time. So hopefully being able to space this kind of stuff out gives me a bit of a chance to take a break with it and not be so like, oh, I need to reset and reset and all this. Like restart and I don't like how this is going kind of thing. Because now I have the time to make it pretty well articulated if I do it, you know, every once in a while, as opposed to just all the time. Although Journey, I'm going to do just daily. I'm, I'm trying to get a streak going. I'm on day three of the streak. <laughs> day three of, of the streak. So we'll see how far I can get. The eighth and the ninth were a little rough. Those were the days I had the, the sleepover with a bunch of buddies. So we'll see, see how things go. 
I'm, I mean, ideally, I'm hoping to make it from now until July, like daily episodes, because I don't think it'll get broken up at all. Oh, you never know. It might just. But ideally, I'm hoping to do like a daily streak for however long I can manage. All right, let's keep going. As I have been. We're making some good progress today. Almost 10,000 blocks already. Well, actually, yeah, we're actually pretty close to 10,000 blocks, only like 2K off. So I don't know where I'll get today. I don't know if I really fix streaming right until bedtime. We'll see. But yeah, if I'm feeling like really excited about any of these things I'm doing throughout the week, I might just make like series based, I, I guess series based on one of them. Either I'll restart or pick up where I left off. Do do pull a journey, you know, <laughs> start streaming it a good deal into the world, I guess. Oh, here Brian's at play over there. <laughs> Burning the trees. Up to no good, that hero brain. Definitely not the lava. Don't look at the lava. <laughs> the lava's like the beta by existence. Uh, uh. Lava's like the beta by existence in this world. It's just, it's just the cause of many deaths I've had. And same thing with creepers. Creepers and lava. Not a good combination. Especially, yeah, when you combine them, it's even worse because the creeper just blasts you into a lava pool. Yeah, not fun. I, I don't think I've had that happen. Skeletons is also a pretty deadly one, although the bow definitely does help. Although I see, I, I definitely tend to fumble more than actually. Um, it takes me a few seconds of fumbling to actually get myself collected, so. <laughs> I'm not the best, but I try. Anyway, that's all that matters, I guess. Well. I don't know if it matters that I try, but I'm throwing it out there anyway. I see the calming effects of journey are starting to kick in. I'm starting to feel like going to bed. Well, it's not even that late. Could definitely keep going. Although I'll probably switch to no commentary because I got some Hermitcraft I want to watch. <laughs> At least I'm transparent. <laughs> I'm not like, oh, you know, I'm I'm feeling so tired. I'm gonna go to bed, kind of thing. Like, no, I just want to watch Hermitcraft. <laughs> and I don't really feel like watching Hermitcraft while doing a commentary because you overhear the hermits talking in the background, <laughs> which I I don't think would be very good at all be diverging my attention i'd be like in and out like so <laughs> i'd be like sometimes just like 10 seconds of silence or you know like half a minute or whatever and then i just come back I'm like oh yeah journey so i'll just do that yeah hopefully uh, bi-weekly or not bi-weekly um two episodes per week of new craft i'm hopefully gonna start doing that next week i thought i already did but i actually hadn't after i figure it out when I was uploading all my new craft episodes like oh I actually haven't been doing bi-weekly but I definitely want to try all right I keep saying bi-weekly bi-weekly is every two weeks twice a week I don't know what that is A <laughs> word. Semi weekly, yeah, I guess. Sem semi weekly. I just was. Lo I just looked it up. That makes sense. Makes a lick of sense, I think. But I don't really got much else to remark on. I think for today, I think I'm a bit commentaried out, especially after the last few episodes of commentary I've done. So I'm gonna gonna leave it here for today. At least in terms of the commentary, I'll still I'll still walk. Gosh, I can I got a pair of legs here. I can I can strut around a little bit.
I got some legs. <laughs> I'm going to watch some Heartcraft, and I'll come back at the end of the episode once I've had my fun and I'm ready to switch to something else. So, um, yeah, I'll be, I'll be back later. Later. I don't know if that was cut off. Might have been.
Alrighty, everybody. That's going to be the end of this episode. Four hours after the commentary has ended. <laughs> a very um, eventful episode. Uh, and just seeing how far we actually made it. Oh, very far. We did really good today. I don't know if I'd be able to keep this pacing up, but um, a good a good uh, start, though, if I wanted to keep doing this or these longer episodes. But, um, yeah, I'm tired. I got work early in the morning, so I'm going to go. So thank you, everybody, for tuning in to the 300th episode. And uh, hopefully there'll be... Quite a few, quite a few more episodes, I'm sure, of this series. Um, you know, maybe a few other hundred specials. We'll see. But um, yeah, that's gonna do it though. So thank you, and I'll see you in the next one.